new projects that are nearing completion. Where are you seeing a lot of the buyer excitement? Like, are there new buildings that are becoming more and more in demand based on people sensing that they're near completion? Like, what would you call the most uh, sort of sought after properties right now? There's definitely a big focus on the new 100 condos right. coming up yeah. just down the street on uh, Victoria. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're starting to see a, a, definitely a good pickup and a lot of demand for um, assignment units and the new rentals coming up there as well for Hunter Victoria. Should be an exciting building. Right. Do you think part of the excitement about 100 Victoria is, is how well uh, Momentum Development's last project, One Victoria, has done? I mean, we've seen this, that building outpace growth in other buildings by, by quite a margin. Do you think that's driving some of the excitement at 100 Victoria? Absolutely, yeah. With One Victoria essentially being the center ice right now of, of downtown Kitchener, that excitement that we've seen over the last couple of years in One Victoria is definitely shifting. Uh, to the 100 complex, especially with the addition of Garmin Street, mm -hmm. Phase 3 coming up. So Tim, I have one question for you. Um, I'm, I'm sure you've been receiving a lot of inquiries lately from purchasers looking to either sell their condo in either Caroline Street or 100 Victoria. Obviously both buildings haven't registered yet. When uh, you're working with a new seller client and they ask you, Tim, should I assign my unit prior to closing or should I close on it, hold for at least a year, then resell? What, uh, what, what is the current market saying with respect to that decision? What are you advising your new clients? Yeah, I mean, I think there are definite advantages to, to assigning prior to close or for waiting and, and putting a tenant in. And I mean, probably the largest factor that would determine it is the ability of each individual investor to close, right? If you assign prior to closing, there may be an additional tax burden that you wouldn't face if you close and, and use the property as a rental for a year. But on the flip side, the, the pro of that arrangement would be that you get to redeploy your capital immediately and maybe the next best investment opportunity is sitting there waiting for you. So by assigning, you get your money out sooner and, and you can redeploy it either on more condos, the stock market, if that's your thing, or really any sort of investment that, uh, that appeals to you. If you do close on the unit, uh, the CRA would expect, I believe, a minimum term of one year of ownership and you would provide rental housing. That does allow for some tax breaks around HST um, and, and of course you get another year's worth of market growth, you get a year's worth of rental income which helps build equity in the property and your tenants are going to do that for you by, by paying your rent. So I guess if I were to summarize it, I would say first, an investor just has to determine if they're comfortable closing, if, if it's financially feasible, and then beyond that, if you have something else you want to shift your money to immediately, let's assign it, the market's hot, you can certainly do that, but uh, if you're trying to build a portfolio, certainly if it's a quality unit, you know, keep it, rent it for a year, evaluate after that. So as the seller representation agent for Conoculture, you're actually coaching some of your clients to actually hold and not sell, which is uh, very honest of you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think what we're looking to do is to create long-term value, right? And I know Absolutely. that's what you do when you're, you're shopping with your, your buyer clients. And yeah, I mean, we don't want to sell for the sake of selling. It's, it's certainly where volume, like volume is great in real estate, but you'd rather see your client's portfolio build. And I think if you can achieve that for them, it, it's going to lead to long-term success for everyone. Well, thanks for watching our February 2019 market update for Conoculture. Um, stay tuned next month for our March 2019 release with the anticipated pre-spring market statistics. Well, thanks for wa watching. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> should, I, should I do a clap? I think Michael's going to put that on.